in years past, uh, and especially recently, we've heard a lot about how Apple says you can use your iPad Pro like a computer. Um, and some people really take that to heart. ZDNet's Jason Cipriani is one of those people. Jason, you have a whole setup how to efficiently, efficiently use your iPad Pro just like a computer. Um, this is a very niche topic that I think a lot of people are really interested in doing. It's a lot of personalization, a lot of customizations. You get exactly what you want, um, all while using your iPad, which you can like pick up and take later. Uh, I'm fascinated. I think this is really cool. Uh, tell, just, just dive in. Tell, tell me how you got started. Tell me about your setup. Yeah, so I've been using an iPad as like my laptop or computer replacement since the original iPad Air. So a long time. Uh, and that has evolved over the years. It's always changing, always adapting. And my current setup now is centered around a the 2021 iPad Pro that has the same M1 Apple Silicon processor that Apple launched that line of processors with. Um, you know, it's found in the MacBook Air currently, uh, the MacBook Pro, not 14 or 16 inch, but the, the 13 inch. And I went with the one terabyte of storage, 16 gig of memory version because I wanted the extra memory for apps to take advantage of. It's a pricey iPad Pro. You don't need that to get your daily work done. But because I use it the way I do, I wanted the extra memory and uh, storage as well. I have that because the iPad Pro line has a USB-C port. I have that connected currently to a BenQ 27 inch 4K multimedia monitor. So this is like a $400 monitor that has, and here's the key to this whole thing, has built-in speakers. So when you hook an iPad up to an external monitor, it mirrors the display. You don't actually get like two monitors, you know, one on the iPad, one on the external monitor. Uh, you actually get your iPad display mirrored on the screen itself. And the audio is routed through the HDMI of your monitor. But if your monitor doesn't have speakers, you can't hear any alerts, you can't play music, videos, all of that stuff. So it took me a good six months to find a monitor, a company that would send me a monitor to test, let alone get the monitor in stock or you know on my desk. Yeah, so the, the USB... It's a USB-C monitor, so it plugs directly into the iPad, and I'm able to work on it um, by looking at, you know, a larger version of what's on my iPad screen on the monitor itself. So I found, I have the Apple Magic Keyboard with trackpad for the iPad Pro, but I found if I used that in front of me to work uh, as an input device, I would stare at the iPad screen instead of the monitor since it was mirrored. So what I did is I found a wireless keyboard that works over Bluetooth that has a Mac layout, which is the Logitech MX Keys for Mac. It has a, a number pad on the side. I would love to use the smaller version of this keypad, but it's a Bluetooth keyboard, has Mac layout, like I said, so you have your command key. Uh, you have some media controls and other controls as well. And so that's what I'm using connected for typing input. I don't have any leg like I used to in the past with Bluetooth keyboards and the iPad. I think Apple's done a lot of work in improving that speed um, with iPad OS. As uh, a way of getting around the interface, I've tried wireless mice before. And you know, when Apple added uh, an iPad OS 14.3 trackpad and mouse support, it, it worked great and I used wireless mice to get around and navigate, but ultimately I went with Apple's Magic Trackpad because the gesture support is there. You can use the same swipes you do on Apple's Magic Keyboard with Trackpad for the iPad uh, as you can on the Magic Trackpad itself. So you could swipe up for a multitasking view. You could hide windows off to the side, uh, little tricks like that. So I went with the trackpad because it's just easier for me. Um, oh yeah. Once wanna... once you start with a trackpad, you don't really want to go back. Yeah, exactly. They're very well, clear because yeah. On a, on a, my MacBook Pro, which is what I'm filming this on because I can't do everything from my iPad, uh, I use a mouse. And, and for whatever reason, the mouse works better for me on the Mac. But when I go to the iPad Pro, a trackpad just feels it feels more intuitive and natural. And maybe it's because you could take the tablet and use it and use the same gestures you do right on the screen 
on the trackpad mm-hmm. to get around. That probably has a lot to do with it. But uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so I have that BenQ monitor on a Ergotron Trace monitor mount. I had never used a monitor mount in my life. I'd always just, whatever stand was included with the monitor, put that on my desk and gone with it. But this mount is $399. It's expensive. I'm, it's a lot. Um, but it's very versatile and it does a good job at hiding the cables. It's adjustable. You can move the monitor around and it stays in position. You're not constantly fighting with it like you sometimes do on adjustable uh, monitor stands. You know, like the monitor I'm on right now, I fight with it daily when I want to make adjustments <laughs> to it. It just doesn't like holding itself in place. Uh, I don't have that issue with this monitor mount. I'm sure there are less expensive options out there. I can't vouch for them. But this one itself is great. It holds up to a 38 inch monitor, I think, which is huge. Uh, yeah. Like I said, that's a, only a 27 inch monitor on it now. So that, you know, it you get what you pay for with some of this stuff. And I have a feeling this monitor mount is, is that, you know, classification. Um, let's see, what else do I have over there? I have a Lululuk magnetic iPad stand. So instead of leaving it on the magic keyboard, like I talked about earlier, there's this magnetic stand that the, the iPad pro attaches to. So it's floating off of the desk. I can u- still use face ID, um, to log into the iPad or log into like one password or a banking app or whatever it is that I need to. Um, and then it, you know, puts it there ready to go if I need to use touch interface or whatever, it's right next to me. Um, And the last bit of this, of course, is what all of this is placed on, and that is a uh, adjustable standing desk. I go back and forth with sitting down and standing up all the time. I'm Mm -hmm. on an adjustable standing desk right now, Um, but the one behind me is from FlexiSpot, and they have prices range all over the place, so I'm not gonna quote a Mm -hmm. price, but they have uh, desks that are made, you know, bamboo or, or or just regular like countertop stuff, and and the prices are pretty good uh, compared to some of the other high end desks. The motors are strong. There's a uh, control panel on it that has memory for going up and down if you want to sit in the morning, stand in the afternoon, or whatever it is, and you can make micro adjustments. Uh, using the the control panel pretty easily. Uh, yeah, and you know. There, there's a lot of other stuff I've tested over the years, but as of right now, while we record, that is exactly what's sitting on my desk for me to work on my iPad all day long. I, I've worked on it. Let's, we're recording this on a Friday. I've worked on it three out of the last four days, 100% of the day, um, but had to switch today, like I said, to record this. Yeah, I so I, I run a MacBook Air, um, uh-huh. and then I also have a MacBook Pro. Um, I flip back and forth. I love having a desk set up, whatever keyboard I want, the trackpad I want, the the screen that I want. Like I love being able to pick this thing up and take it somewhere if I need to. Uh, you know, if I if I need yeah. a change of scenery, if I need to leave my little office here. But I love being able to pick and choose exactly what I'm working on, and it makes it makes total sense that you would do that with an iPad because that's what you do with a laptop. You know, um, so many of the pieces are the same. You might have, you got to get a little bit of a stand, but sometimes people actually get stands for their laptops and stuff. So it just, I don't know, it makes sense. And I love that you've tried this out and you've been using it. And this is, you know, you said, well, this is a little pricey, but that's what works for you. You know, like what I like and what you like might be in two totally different price ranges and that's okay. You know, like, but I think that's, what's cool about tech is you can make you, there is something for everyone. Like whatever your taste is, there's something. Yeah. And I won't lie. There's, there's days where it's a struggle to figure out how to do certain tasks on the iPad. And, uh, you know, just for example, this week, we have very specific requirements for the images we use in some articles and sitting down on a Mac and resizing images and making sure they have a white background is a process, depending on how long the article is, that can take an hour of your day just to get the images right. So I spent probably 45 minutes researching how to use Apple's shortcuts app on the iPad. And I it ended up leading me down a rabbit hole of finding a third party app that creates backgrounds for you and allows you to overlay images. So now all I have to do is click a button and every image I need for a post is done in about 10 seconds. And so that stuff, I'm sure you could do it on a Mac, but it's 
I haven't taken the time to look into it. And the iPad just for me is a better workflow. And to your point, I use this desk for other uh, computers as well. Like I have a, a Microsoft Surface Pro X, which is their ARM uh, two-in-one tablet slash laptop. I use that on this desk as well with a, a, a hub and stuff like that. So this, this isn't strictly iPad Pro. It's kind of my, I don't want to sit at my big desk where I have all these other gadgets hooked up and I need a change of scenery. And that's where I go to work. And I absolutely love this setup. I, I was telling my wife last night, I am in love with the setup I have right now on this desk. It, it, it truly is, it's just refreshing to, to have a change of pace. Yeah, no, the, it's weird, but your workstation really helps with your day. Like, I, I don't know if I'm, if I'm on the go somewhere, if I'm staying somewhere else and I'm just working on a couch on my, my little computer and I'm just da, 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 versus when I'm home, I can spread out. I have my big setup. It's very visual for me. It's very easy to see. I don't know. There's some, there's something about having your own setup that just nothing yep. like it. It's, it's kind of silly, but it's like, I it's mean, like I your have... own house, like your own furniture, your own bed, right. like it, I, I don't have know. Three desks in one room. Like there's a desk over here and there's a desk back there. And then I'm on this one here. And it, it's just, it's, I need to move around and have a change of scenery. And it's amazing. I'll, I'll struggle on an article or, or something and I'll switch to a different desk. And in 20 minutes, it's done. It's just that change of yep. pace. So it, I think we're getting sidetracked here, but I think the broader <laughs> point is, uh, taking the time to invest and constantly yes. adjust and move stuff around and and find a setup that truly feels good to be at will do yep. a lot for your workflow and your daily productivity. I think that's the theme and the big takeaway here. Yeah. Yeah. And in the theme overall, uh, you can use your iPad Pro as your laptop. Uh, we've said it you time can. and time again. You can do it. It can be done. Um, you do it every day. Yep. So Jason, Thank you so much for showing us this uh, and for for taking the time out to find all of these products and uh, you know sharing that with us. As always, Jason's written review is linked down below. Uh, you can get a little more in depth with that. And then we've got links to all of the products he mentioned. Uh, if there's something on your desk that you love that just absolutely makes your day when you sit down to work, tell us about it. Uh, we may or may not have tried it out uh, and there's a pretty good chance we'll want to. Uh, so we love to hear from you as always. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to stick with ZDNet.